Today, we're gonna to be packaging and delivering 28,000 meals for a city in need. Now I'm gonna show you guys what food we're gonna be giving each family. Macaroni, vegetables, cans of soup, peanut butter and jelly, beans in an oversized pickle jar, these things and cheeses, giant jar of Miracle Whip. And then we top it off with a case of coconut water. And then we come over to our giant refrigerator and grab a box of fresh food. This is over $100 worth of food. And believe it or not, we're giving this to every single family at the food drive. And now, and now we're gonna do what we just did a few hundred times. And now we put the last box of food on the pallet. Faster, Turi! How much of this food have you been eating? That was a little mean. We do this about 30 more times and fill the trucks. And now we drive to the food drive. Someone remind me later to learn how to drive a truck because I don't know how to drive a truck. And now me and Darren Hi. are on our way to the food drive. A couple weeks ago, Darren was reading a local newspaper and he heard that a food pantry was shutting down. Who the heck still reads newspapers? And a lot of families depended on that food pantry for food. And this is just a perfect opportunity to put the food we have to good use and just really help some people out. And now we're here, good luck today. I hope there was an explosion. And now we're at the food drive with eight elephants worth of food. And now that tons of cars are starting to show up, I need to put on a disguise. Inconspicuous black hoodie, a hat that doesn't have a Nike logo. I literally have only ever worn one hat in my entire life. Some shades, and we're gonna top it all off with a name tag that says Bill. That's right folks, I am no longer Mr. Beast, I am Bill. Let's do this, I feel ridiculous. And this truck right here is the first car of the drive. Darren, I can't remember. Do you like pickles? Oh, we love pickles. He called me Jimmy. I'm not putting the box into you, call me Bill. Billy. Thank you. <laughs> it means so much that Mr. Beast is helping us out. I couldn't do it without him. The food distribution means more to people than just the food. Some just want somebody just to speak to them, and I just look forward to doing this for the long run. These food drives are gonna make me rip. These are heavy. I wonder if it will make me full. <laughs> This right here is Sarah. She's been doing a lot of volunteering and I found out she runs a daycare and they need some art supplies and toys. We heard you run a daycare. We actually brought some stuff that we wanted to give you for your daycare. Oh, so word on the street was your daycare needed some new toys and art supplies. We decided to pick up a bunch for you. It's like Christmas to us teachers. Uh, this is Minister Spencer, and so you used to basically support this community, right? For 29 years? 29 years. That is insane! <laughs> we closed the doors of the major food pantry in this area, and Darian came and said, don't worry, we're going to continue the services. No, that's the guy that was sitting here before me. That's Mr. Beast, you know? Where? You They're shut up! You. you better tell him to come out here and hug me! Shut up! Why, why you do me like that? Did you let me know the real deal? You said no, Bill! No, no. Oh, no! <laughs> this is a disguise. As you can look around and see that we have really touched a lot of families. Thank you for coming out and serving with a good attitude. This is working. And there you have it, another successful food drive fist bump. And if you're wondering how this is all possible, by watching this video, you helped fund what we just did. 100% of the ad revenue, brand deals, and merch sales from this channel goes towards running this food pantry. And by watching this video, you helped us feed people. I created the Beast Philanthropy YouTube channel to generate revenue and grow this charity. No one's ever done this before, and I don't even know how this is gonna work out. But one thing I do know is I need you guys to keep watching these videos so we can keep growing and expanding the food pantry. Maybe one day we'll do homeless shelters, or we'll do a second or third food pantry. So thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.